Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you for joining me. So today I will be decorating the spread in my fitness planner where well, I actually use a vertical layout um, instead of the actual fitness planner. It just works better for me. So I will be using this. So today, oh wait, let me tell you guys what I'm gonna use. So um, I usually go over the week before um, and then I talk about how I did and things like that. But um, I'm filming this a little earlier than usual. I just, since I do a lot of videos, I keep talking about it. But if I feel the need to be creative and get some stuff done, I'm just going to go ahead and get some stuff done. So um, I'm still just walking right now, but I am really feeling like I am ready to hit hit to head back into the gym. I think that was head and hit at the same time. So I'm ready to head back in the gym. Um, so I think I'm going to start changing up my workouts um, a little bit now, maybe because it's January and it's just like my body just knows, okay, it's time to kick it up a notch, but I'm really feeling it. So before I get back, get, get all into that, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use to do my spreads today. Now, like I said, I felt inspired, so I was like, let me sit down and do my video for my fitness planner. And then I came and sat down, and I was like, now what do I want to use? So it took me a minute flipping through a lot of winter books. And so since I love these snowmen from Winter Collections Volume 2 from Amber Planter Day, I'm going to use these again. I use these in my monthly. I have used these in, I think it was my skinny classic. So now I'm going to use these in my fitness planner. I don't think I've ever done this before. Used uh, the same theme in a bunch of my planners um, within a few weeks or whatever. But I just love them. They're so stinking cute. So I'm going through this and I'm looking at these and I'm like... These would look so cute if I could find some snowflakes, right? So I'm thinking because I had already put my winter sticker books to the side from Happy Planner. And I know they have. I know I could have found some snowflakes. Actually, it may be in. If I could get, grab this without. Hold on a second. This is the mega old mega seasonal. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, because I did the... Oh, yeah, see, they have the, the snowflakes here. I may use these, too. We'll see. So, I was thinking, like, these would look so cute if I had a bunch of snowflakes. And then I forgot I had ordered two sheets of snowflakes from Planning Press. So... I'm going to start using, I'm going to use these first. And I don't know, these are cute, but I'm not sure if it'll look okay. Should I just pull them just in case or I'll just keep the book nearby. If I remember, if I still feel like I need something more, then we'll pull from there. So what I was thinking of doing is just... Just doing snowflakes uh, coming down the majority of the page and then have the snowmen on the bottom and then um, my boxes. And then I have my sidebar. So let me put my sidebar down now. I was going to use the black boxes, but they're, it's, I think it's going to be too dark. So I'm, I'm going to go for gray since it's not as dark, but it's still kind of neutral. There's gonna be so many colors in this, in this spread, and I didn't wanna have to search for colored boxes. So I figured I'd go with something neutral. And that's still crooked, great job. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm feeling like I need to head back into the gym now. I've been doing the walking. It's it's good. I've still been doing, um, I guess you can call it. This is still crooked. I'm not going to fuss. I'm not fussing with this stuff today. Um, I am usually... I'm going to say usually a day I just have one meal um, because I know I'm just walking so I'm not burning a bunch of calories and I have a very, uh, like I told you guys before a long time ago, um, because I work at home, I, my if I don't actively go out and do things, there's not much activity happening. So I have to really be mindful of the calories I take in because um, it's not like I'm at a, I go to work and I'm just walking around in the offices and, you know, like I said, if I am not actively walking or actively exercising, the most steps that I'll get in a day is a little over a thousand. So that's like barely moving since I work from home. So I have to be super conscious of the things I eat. Because I'm not burning a lot. I'm not, there's not a lot of movement if it's not intentional. So I try to eat one good meal a day and in very a lot of times it's meat and vegetables like a protein and vegetables kind of thing uh big chicken and broccoli or something like that um so yeah at least going back to the gym will allot me uh the ability to eat um more so I just have to be in it really does suck for me but I have to I really have to be mindful oh you guys you made me forget my washi I have to really be super mindful of what I'm eating I have learned that because when I was packing on the pounds decades ago I got up to my highest 300 pounds I was so flabbergasted because I was like I barely eat like that's what I was saying I was like I really don't even eat anything what the heck but it wasn't that it was I don't I wasn't moving I've been I, I've been working from home for uh, I've been with the company for 22 years. I've been working from home for maybe 21 of those years. I think I was only in the office for about a year. So I, I've i learned that if I am not in the gym or actively moving on a daily basis, I need to eat like a bird basically because my body will latch on to all the calories. It will take me two months to work off a candy bar. It's very serious. So I really do have to be mindful of what I, what I eat. Uh, but I'm also like, since I was bloated for so long, because I didn't know I had a sensitivity to gluten. And um, when I started back going to the gym just this last time, I felt like, why aren't the pounds moving? Like this, well, not the pounds, but the scale. Why isn't the scale moving? It was still like, I was bouncing around in the 250s for the longest. It's like 252, 254, 253, 255, 256. It was like, it was really, it gets really discouraging. At times, it's almost like, what is the point of this? Just let me eat and do what I want and be happy. I put this over here on Christmas since it's Christmas. Um, 
But I'm hoping now, like I said, I that I've realized I have a sensitivity to gluten that um I and I haven't weighed myself, so I'm not sure. I don't even know where I am yet. Um I want to start fresh for January, so I'm hoping that um maybe be, because of that and I know now and I'm not eating that that it's going to help with the numbers on the scale because I'm not going to be as bloated anymore I'm not going to be yeah as bloated anymore um because I'm not I'm not eating that stuff I'm not eating the gluten so we will see I am really anxious to find out if that's if this uh new knowledge is going to help me, which I hope it does. Oh, I have to be, I have to remember about the boxes. I'm so busy decorating, I'm not gonna have any room for boxes. Okay, so let's put a box. I'm actually, like I said, I'm excited to get back into the gym. I'm gonna really have to work my schedule um, because the overtime and then the time, I, you know, that I have to film. So I'm going to have to really, that's why I have that passion planner daily. But I also have daily sheets too. So I may be in, starting to use those too, just to get a handle on my day. Because I told you guys before, if I don't wake up already set, like, okay, this is, you know, I'm doing this at this time and I'm breaking and I'm going to do, like, if I don't have that already set in my mind to do and I'm still at, the desk trying to figure out, okay, what time am I going to go to the gym? Nine times out of ten, it ain't happening. So I have to wake up already with the game plan knowing, okay, at this particular time, I'm going to put my job on pause, put the computer on pause, and head out to the gym. If I don't do that, then it's not going to be looking too good. So, okay, let's do that. Let's put our workout. Things up here. Yeah, I'm back to getting focused. Focused on what I need to do. Like I said, I feel a little better since I'm realizing I do have a sensitivity to gluten. I'm feeling a lot better because I know that and I haven't been eating that that kind of those things anymore. So I'm starting to physically feel better again. Maybe that was another reason why I couldn't get back into the swing of things because like I said, I wasn't, I, 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 I know it's not celiac because it wasn't that bad, but it was bad for me. Like it really just made me just want to like get done working and go lay down. Like I just didn't feel well. I didn't feel like myself. And I was so tired of every time after I ate a feeling sick. So I'm glad that's done and over with and I feel better. So maybe, like I said, because of that, my energy is back up and I'm ready to like, okay, I need to get some stuff done. So that's a good thing. So I was able to buy, when I went grocery shopping yesterday, I got some gluten-free um, thin spaghetti pasta. So I'm going to try it. Um, I tried already the gluten-free waffles. I think I told you guys, they're okay. Uh, something I have to get used to. They're not bad. I just have to get used to the taste. 
they have that taste healthy taste. <laughs> like you just know it's something healthy. Um, <laughs> so I just have to get used to that. And, um, oh, and I got the bread. I found it in the frozen aisle. I didn't know that they had, because I was like, why wouldn't they have gluten-free bread? Like, I didn't understand that. But at the, at the stores. Um, but they do. It's just you have to keep it frozen. So I, I wasn't even, I didn't even know that. So I wasn't looking for it. I just happened to see it. And I was like, oh, they do have gluten-free bread. So I haven't tried it yet. So we will see. I mean, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. I mean, if I don't like it, then I just can't have a sandwich or something. Like, I, I, I can't do the gluten, so I'm going to have to make it work. So... I really don't mind for how I've been feeling I really don't mind not having it I think I'm just getting used to the fact that yeah you just cannot eat that stuff I think after the coffee roll debacle I was just like yeah we're kind of done <laughs> I don't think it's worth all this thanks but no thanks I'm not doing all this for a cracker. It's just not. It's just not what's up. So. Um. Okay. Let's. Do we put one here? Let me do my snowflakes. And I also want to put, wait, let's put some free, some, well, winter starts on the 20th, I think, right? Winter begins on the 21st. So, can we sneak in a, it's so weird because I've been doing all these winter spreads and Christmassy spreads that, I feel like it's a little late in the game <laughs> to be doing a hello winter, but it is actually winter on the 21st. Let's see if I can move this. Yeah. Don't think I'll be able to move this snowflake. Yeah, I was just thinking about that as I was talking like I really do feel like I can go back to the gym now and that's probably why because I feel so much better now it I don't know if 
this is folded over or yes it's folded over Okay, so let's do this, this side, and I think I'm going to do another, another black, I mean another, I'm supposed to say black quote, another, just another quote. I really just love these snowmen. These little snowmen are so cute. Should we do one here? Seasons greetings. Okay, so let's pack this with some snowflakes at the top. Is this all together? So I will let you guys know about the um, gluten-free bread. Or if you've tried it already, um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. As it says, I have to keep it frozen, so I'll keep it frozen until I try it. It's a little tiny loaf they give you and I think it was like five dollars for a half a loaf of bread so it's not cheap by any means even the pasta the box pots the boxes of pasta that you can usually get a lot of times are like a dollar a box um the gluten-free is almost three dollars a box so I would love to find some gluten-free cereal if you guys again know of any gluten-free cereal or any kind of like if you have a gluten allergy or a gluten sensitivity just not a fan of gluten and you your diet is usually is well it is gluten-free Give me some suggestions in the comments of things like that you eat. Um, because I do not have a clue. And I am going in this completely blind. So. Any kind of suggestion would be welcomed.
So today is the last day to enter into enter the giveaway. Okay, today is the last day. Tomorrow I will be selecting two winners. Okay, I will be selecting two winners again. All you have to do to enter in the giveaway is to, one, subscribe to my channel. It is not a bad thing. We have fun here. Subscribers, let them know how much fun we have. We have fun here. And let me know in the comments. Not in these comments. But I'm going to give you... A I'm going to give you, actually, I'm going to give you one more chance. You can enter in these comments in this video right here. Because before I was only saying on the last video on the 13th, but I will give you a chance to enter in a comment on this video right here. And you tell me what are your fitness goals for 2023? So you have to subscribe to my channel. You have to let me know in the comments in this video. What are your fitness goals for 2023? Now, if you've already done that in last week's video, you do not have to do it again. I already have your names down. But if you are new or you just are now hearing about this giveaway, you can subscribe to my channel and put in the comments, what are your 2023 fitness goals, okay? I will be checking all new comments, I will put everybody's name down, and tomorrow, winter, first day of winter, the 21st, on tomorrow, I will be selecting two winners for the fitness bundles giveaway. Two fitness bundles. One bundle will have the um, fitness planner from Happy Planner that came out in the fall release, the classic size. There will be stickers. There will be other accessories. I am not sure what it's going to be yet because I have not gotten those things. I'm going to go to the store and whatever I find fitness related, wellness related, I will put in the bundles. Understand. Please understand me when I tell you this. I am not one to be giving flimsy items, okay? I do not do that. The church that I went to has raised me to do everything in perfection. Okay, I don't have to do anything. If we're going to do something, we do it right. Okay, so understand there will be nice things in these bundles. Okay, so you will have a classic size fitness planner bundle. Okay, and the second bundle, it will be the skinny classic fitness planner from the Happy Planner that came out in the fall release. So one bundle, classic size, fitness planner, stickers and accessories. Second bundle, skinny classic, fitness planner with stickers and, and accessories. All things that's gonna help elevate your fitness journey for 2023. Anything that's going to help you. I love doing this, this is the second year. Um, ever since I've had this channel, I do this every year. My channel's not that old, okay? It's pretty new. So <laughs> every year, I did it last year. I'm going to do it again this year. I'm going to do it every year. Every year, I'm going to do a fitness giveaway to get people jump started for the new year. I love to help out people. Like I said, I know there is inflation going on. Prices are out of control. There are other responsibilities. There are children. There are spouses. There are families. I get it and I understand. And so this is my way of helping someone who cannot afford to get these things that they need to help take care of their own self for 2023. Because remember, you can't take care of anybody if you're not taking care of yourself, okay? You got to take care of yourself first. So this is your time. This is your moment to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. You are worth it. And if you want to be here to take care of the people that you love, you got to take care of yourself. We all have to take care of ourselves. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you um, put in the comments 
what your 2023 goals are. And I am praying that the two people that win this giveaway are two people who really need it, okay? Because that's who I want to help, people who really need it. I understand people love to win things and you just, some people just love, you know, you want to have stuff. I get it. But I really want two people who really are trying to invest in themselves and really do what they need to do for themselves next year but cannot afford it and would love to have some products to help them. I'm praying that it, this giveaway goes into the right hands, okay? So, like I said, please subscribe. Please put your comments down for your goals for next year. And I will be doing the, uh, I will be picking the winner on tomorrow. The giveaway will close at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, okay? After that, midnight, it closes. That's it. Giveaway is done. Picking the winners. I will let the winners know in the comments. If you put a comment and I picked your name, I will let you know in the comments if you are a winner. If you do not hear from me in the comments, well, I'll probably do a post to let you guys know who the winners are. I think I'll do that so you guys are not who won, who won. So I'll do the post. And then again, like when I do my next video for next week for my fitness planner, um, I'll again let you guys know who the winners were. And... I will be shipping everything out. Oh, also, first winner gets to select which bundle they want. If they want the classic size or they want the skinny classic. And then the second winner will get whatever, whichever one wasn't chosen by the first winner. That's how I'm going to do that. And I will get those bundles at, out ASAP so that you will have them before the year begins. Now, I'm not responsible <laughs> for whatever the post office is doing because I told you guys in a couple other videos how my Live Love Posh bundle, not bundle, but I had ordered two sticker books. They were supposed to have been here on the 12th of December and I'm taping this early, but it's supposed to be here on the 19th on Monday. So let's see what happens. It says it's in my city, so last I checked. So. so I'm hoping that it gets there in time. But this is the Christmas season. But I, I do try to ship stuff out as early as possible because I knew what it feels like to be waiting on um <laughs> waiting on things. Okay. I think this came out pretty cute. Um, sometimes I have to like leave it, come back, and then let the let the spread like grow on me a little bit. But I like the snowman. I love the snowman, and I love the snowflakes. Y'all, can we not even? We I did not even address how Sunday next Sunday is Christmas. Can we just take a minute and let that sit in our skulls like Christmas? And then New Year's, so it's really serious. I don't know how this look, guys. I hope it looks okay. Um, but I'm so excited for this giveaway. You guys make me so excited for things. And I'm gonna try to do one for spring as well. Spring will be just a regular um planner bundle, you know, a little planner thing or whatever. Whatever comes out in the spring release, we'll see what happens. Because um, I just enjoy giving. I really do. It's a lot of times so much better than receiving. Hey, and I didn't even need the other, the other, what you call it. I like these gray boxes, but it's, to me, it's making the spread look dirty. I don't know why these gray boxes are not. That's why I keep wiping them because I feel like there's like dirt on them or something. I don't know. It could be just overthinking it. 
Okay. So this is my spread for my fitness planner for the week of December 19th through the 25th. Um, I just used some stickers from Amber Plants Her Day Winter Collections Volume 2. I am not sure if she still has that book available, but I will link her in the description if you want to go to her website to check it, uh, check it out. She has a lot of other stuff too, really good stuff. I love her stuff as well. And yeah, so this is it. Last day for the giveaway. I'm so excited. I am so excited to see who's going to win these packages. Um, yeah. I hope you guys, I hope you guys get it. I hope you guys get it. I wish I could do more, um, more, um, winners, um, but I'll just do two and who knows, I'll probably do more giveaways. Um, I just, I do, I, I like to give to people, so we'll see what happens, but I'm excited for the two winners and they will find out who they are and I will make a post of the winners as well on my YouTube channel so that you guys can see who the winners are. Oh my gosh, are you guys excited? That's going to be a great Christmas gift. It really is. So I'm not sure if it's going to be as good as, well, not as good, but as big as that, that Happy Planner Fitness Bundle I showed in one of my uh, videos. That was a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that they gave in that bundle. But it's going to be some good stuff. So um, again, if you have not entered, Please make sure you enter, subscribe to my channel, put in the comments what your uh, fitness 2023 goals are, and you will be officially entered in the giveaway. Um, also, make sure to, I need to make sure that I know it's only for um, U.S. residents. And I think that's about it. It is in no way affiliated with any other company, not Happy Planner, YouTube, Instagram, anybody else. It is just solely sponsored by myself. So, again, if you are not entered, please enter. You will not regret it. Okay, so that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified when other videos are uploaded. I very much enjoy chilling and talking to you guys. It's so fun. And I hope you guys have an amazing week. Have an amazing holiday. Relax. Enjoy yourself. No stressing, right? Do not stress out. Enjoy yourself. Spend time with your loved ones. And I will talk to you later. Bye.